in the morning um, I've learned from past episodes not to shoot in certain directions but there's not a whole lot to say right now um, I'm basically just trying to keep the plants alive uh, we're talking heat wave for a couple of days uh, upwards of maybe 110 degrees today and even hotter tomorrow <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna try and keep the plants alive for now um, and then we'll see if there's anything else to post uh, by the end of the week so that's it for today Good morning, gardening friends. We've made it to Friday. Um, it's about a quarter to 11. It's just under 90 degrees. Yesterday was ridiculous. Uh, depending on what source you look at, it was somewhere between 100 and, uh, 102 and 110 degrees here. Um, the ones that say 102 now. My thermometers here were showing 106 at least, and I'll bet you it probably peaked at 108. So. It's crazy weather in Southern California, but let's talk about gardening here. Uh, so I didn't get out the last couple of days to do anything with a garden except to put water on the plants and try and keep them from dying. Uh, today I'm finally out to work on the wildflower project, which, as I keep saying, will be in another video. Uh, nothing much has really changed, uh, unless you consider some of the tomatoes. Maybe let's take a look at that. I'm hoping you can actually see this. I've got a number of tomatoes on here. I think the last count was upwards of 10. I uh, may have gone over that with some of the really tiny ones that are just starting, but uh, I'm really happy with the patio tomatoes. And perhaps now you can actually see the uh, yellow pear tomatoes developing here. Everything's green, so it's a little hard to see. Uh, but also at last count on this, I think I was up over a dozen of these. So I went from like one or two on this plant and five on the other to this one uh, outpacing the patio tomato. So I'm happy. I'm really looking forward to some fresh tomatoes. I think that's it for today. If I come up with something else, I'll go ahead and record it. Good afternoon, gardening friends. It's now Saturday, a little bit before 5 p.m. Uh, I actually managed to get quite a bit done today in terms of updates that needed to be dealt with and uh, what have you. So let's go through and take a look, and uh, then we'll wrap it up for the day. First, I just want to give you a quick status report on the uh, squash plants. Uh, a couple of them are really looking sick. They're just kind of dying out. This heat that we've had in May <laughs> has been crazy. Um, I'm doing what I can to keep on top of them. Also, if I swing over a little bit, I actually planted a couple of days ago the cucumber into this one spot here. So that's got that. Then there's the pepper plants, and those are doing nicely, the three that survived. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to happen. Uh, so I've got two of one and one of the other, and I keep forgetting to actually put labels in here, but maybe that, I'll get that done tomorrow. We'll see. Up on the curve, uh, the snapdragons that were up there were not looking good. I don't know if it's lack of sun or it's the heat, but uh, today I went out and I bought some more sick packs of flowers, so put a couple of petunias in there. That's what the uh, sort of pale yellow ones are that you see on either end of the curve. While I was at it, I went ahead and replaced some of the marigolds that had died off. Remember, the whole point of this uh, patio garden and the design is to have an outer ring filled with flowers that will actually attract the good bugs and repel the bad ones. Well, when the flowers die off, they don't really do any work, so uh, I had to do something because I was a little afraid for my veggies, speaking of which. Here's the lemon cucumber. I guess I got a couple of dead leaves I got to pull off. The strawberry looks pretty bad, actually. Um, I'm kind of wondering if it survived, uh, if it was a bad move to cut off the longer leaves that were turning brown anyway. Uh, there's a little bit of green in there. I keep watering it. There's also a small strawberry in there. I'm just letting it kind of rot and go to seed, so we'll see if that turns into anything. Swiss chart is telling me that the other plants, as well as themselves, need some water. 
the greens are doing sort of medium here. Uh, the lettuce is uh, drying out pretty badly, but the basil seems to be hanging in there, and I've still got that one carrot which I have yet to pick. The hard rock tomato is looking healthy. It's getting, I think it's getting a little bigger. I'm going to have to go back and look at some video to compare. The patio tomato, uh, last count, had 10 tomatoes on it. And one of them is actually turning orange and headed towards red. The yellow parrot, last count, had 16. But it's a little hard when you get that many of them on there to do an accurate count because you have to kind of look at it from one angle and then you turn around and turn and look at it from another angle and you're not sure if you counted the same tomato twice. So I think it's about 16 of them. I've done a bit of cleaning out here in the courtyard, uh, most notably, I think I already covered it, but uh, I pulled the two wooden boxes that were on either side of the big wall boxes there, um, the plastic ones. I uh, pulled them, emptied out the soil, and I haven't done anything with them yet. Also, you can see in um, kind of the foreground a couple of pots that look like they don't have anything in them. That's part of the wildflowering project. I'll give you a little more detail in another episode, a separate episode, but bottom line is I found this interesting project with some wildflower seeds I have now planted in a number of planters. Now, well, I almost passed up the work that I was going to tell you about, so I guess that tells you that the plants on the wall all look kind of consistent and like they belong to some degree. The marigold you see in the middle there was replaced because it had died off, and that was part of the six packs I got for the patio. The three planters hanging off the wall have now been repurposed to be part of the wildflowering project. And I noticed today that the uh, four o'clocks here are pretty much dying off, but we I noticed that the uh, odd plant that I had here that I found just outside my patio and I was like, okay, I don't think the gardeners planted that. Let me pull it, I'll put it over on this table and we'll see what it grows into. I think that's actually a four o'clock. It looks a lot like the other ones and it's also dying off, but it's doing better over here. And as long as we're over here at the pergola area, I did notice this week that this one particular planter appears to be growing the coleus. So that's got me happy to have something a little different that I haven't been able to grow before. In case anybody was actually wondering, the um, bougainvillea has pretty much dropped all of its flowers, or at least all the colored leaves. I think there's two left on the plant. Um, but it looks otherwise healthy, so maybe that's just because of the heat. And maybe if it cools off, it'll grow a few more colored leaves. Working my way back to the courtyard, I uh, almost forgot to tell you guys about these four hanging planters here. So two of them have the uh, nasturtium growing pretty nicely. The other two are just starting to sprout. Um, they had pretty much died off, so while one was growing, the other one had died. So that's why there's so much distance between them. You can't really see them right now, but just trust me. The two that I had planted new seeds in have started to sprout. And that brings us back to the courtyard where we usually wrap up for the week. Uh, I've added one more petunia there. That was one of the two six-packs that I bought for the patio. The uh, artichoke plant is not looking good, although I think the herbs that I planted at Tarragon uh, are actually thriving. Um, it kind of looks like something ate the artichoke plant. Uh, there are a few leaves down the stalk that look like they're about to push out another stock so I'm just going to have to watch it and try and figure out what happened. I don't see any sign of actual bugs but it looks like it got eaten. So I'm going to have to do some research to figure that out. But overall things are good. So this is the Budget Gardener signing off and saying may your thumb be green.